AES Silver Finger today, bringing you my um, combo video and my test hand video. So I'm going to start off with the combo video first. Now this combo requires you to have Predator and Scorpio and Trick Clown in your hand. With this, you can get depending on if because we're doing it this format, we're going to get a um we should be able to get a Minerva, Dante, and another monster on the field, another extra deck monster on the field. But once Link comes out, this um this combo will um not get you as it will get you as less of a field presence because you have to make um use your resources for the link monster first so i'm just going to show you this combo in this format and how to do it in the link format so with this like i said all you need is the trick clan and or for scorpio um, we're going to go they say we're going to go do doing this first so we get another three random cards on top of my deck now so what you do first is you're going to normal summon the author scorpio you're going to discard the trick clown and then you're going to search for the um or oh, special summon the cobra onto the field Cobra's effect will hit, and then you're gonna search out a Brent Fusion and add it to your hand. Now this makes because we've already used up a normal summon, we can only normal summon one more time because of the Brent Fusion. Because we discarded Trick Clown and Trick Clown got sent to the grave, it gets special summoned onto the field. Oh, just let me wind this up a bit. So now what we do is we're going to activate the Bruin first, Fusion first. And then we're going to send Wolf to the graveyard. And we're going to send the Garnet to the graveyard. I've only got, sorry, I've only got one Garnet in the deck. I'm supposed to have two, but my other Garnet is missing. So just let me search for it. Yep, Garnet. And then we're going to special summon this Seraphonite. Okay, so what you do first is because we're going first, you're going to special summon Dante in defense position. Let's just view it out a little bit more. And also, Wolf is special summoned on the field because we sent him to the graveyard as well. So we've got a. So we, right now we've got a Wolf, Dante, Trick Clown, and a Seraphonite, and we still haven't used up our normal summon yet. So what you're going to do is then you're going to go into a Minerva. I don't have a Minerva, so I'm just going to use a blank card to signify Minerva. Then. Your plays, you can go any way you want. You can then go solar recharge, wolf, draw to send to, or mill to, sorry. You can go um, mill off Minerva, or you can mill off the Dante. But with this hand, you're going to be milling three, three, six, eight. You're going to be milling eight, you're going to draw two, basically. And you still haven't used up your normal summon yet. Now, with link format, once link format comes, it's going to be a bit different. So let's go back to this field. So we've got the Orpho Scorpio, the Predator Plant, Darling Cobra, oh, Cobra, sorry, Trick Clan. And a wolf, and we've got the Gemini Seraphonite in link in the extra deck monster zone. With this, you next. So we had that. We had that. 
Sorry, I've mixed up my hand with the deck. Okay, now we had a Wolf, a Lumina, and a Solar Recharge in our hand before. Now, what you're going to do first is you're going to normal summon the Lila. This still works. You need to have a Lila in your hand or you need a way to get Lila in your hand, like um, Charge Light Brigade. But all I know is that you need a Lila in your hand because you're going to normal summon it first. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go Gemini Seraphonite. You're going to tribute Gemini Seraphonite. You're going to, tr uh, not tribute, you're going to use Gemini Seraphonite. You're going to use the Wolf and you're going to use the Cobra or Scorpio for your link materials. Right? So we're going to use that for a Deco Talker. So you special summon Deco Talker. Right? Before you do anything, because we've got a solar recharge in our hand and a wolf, let's just activate that. So you can discard the wolf. You're going to be drawing two cards. You're going to be milling. So we milled a charge of light brigade and we just milled a judgment dragon. Okay, and then we're going to discard the snow for luminous effect. And then we're going to bring out a wolf. So you special summon a wolf. Then what we're going to do is then you're going to go into a Minerva and a Dante. So with this, with the combo I showed you, you just made a Dante, a Minerva, a um, Deco Talker, and we just milled and sent to the graveyard these cards. Not only that, you're also going to be milling off Dante and you're going to be milling another three of Minerva and potentially drawing one or two cards. Maybe three if you're lucky, but at least one or two. Okay, now while well, I showed you the combo, I'm now going to do one test hand for going first and one test hand for going second. Okay, so I'm just gonna sh uh, shuffle in front of the camera to show you guys I'm not stacking my deck. That's oh, supposed to be there. Okay, just like the camera focus. Sorry, I'm just I'll move the table a bit forward. Sorry, so at least you guys can see. I'm just outside at the moment. So there's a deck. I'll show the extra deck. Oh. So extra deck going to be somewhere around there. Okay, so I've shuffled. Now we're going to go first first. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now this is why I don't like running Gem Knight Garnet at one with this deck. Because right now we can still make a Dante but right now we've just got three dead brain fusions in our deck. This is so that's why I run Gemini Garden at two folks and this is why I prefer running it at two than one. So oh okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna normal summon the Orpha Scorpio. Oh yeah, Predator Scorpio. We're gonna ditch the Garnet. So we're gonna Special summon the Cobra. Cobra's effect is going to activate. 
I'm gonna grab out a dead brilliant fusion. Oh no, I won't grab out a dead brilliant fusion actually. I'll grab out a um a metaphase fusion. So I've just searched out a metaphase fusion. Okay, so basically that's our hand. So we've got a Lyla, Protoplan, or Metaphos Fusion. We've got two monsters on the field. We're gonna go into a Dante. So we made a Dante. Then we're gonna mill off Dante. Just randomly. We're just gonna random mill. So Twin Twister, Fairy Tower Snow, and a brilliant fusion. Brilliant fusion. Now, we're going to activate this. We're going to discard the menace first fusion. And we're going to target. Let's just target the Orphus Scorpio again. Protoplanet Scorpio. We're going to activate metal face fusion. We're going to shuffle it back into the deck or just randomly place it in the deck. And we're going to draw another card. Fire out. This is why some. This is why last ones are a bit tricky to play because you end up getting doubles of copies of cards. Well, that was sort of one of the worst first hands, and that was because I drew into the Seraphonite. Okay, next. We're going to go into, we're going to say, we're going to do another test hand, Same. So we're going to go second this time. I'm going to do another video, we're going to, I'm going to do another first hand try as well. So what we draw, we're going to draw a Twin Twister, a Raiden, a Reforce on the army, a Luminal, a Foolish Burial, that's five, and we're going to draw another Lumina. Okay. This is really good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go activate the reinforcement of the army first. Because what you wanna search out for is you wanna search out the photon fresher. Then you're gonna special summon photo fresher because you control no monsters. Then you're gonna activate the Foolish Burial. Now these plays can be stopped with Ghost, uh, uh, not Ghost, uh, the new um, hand trap that came out. And it can be stopped with like cards that say you cannot special summon or stuff like that. So we're gonna Foolish Burial Illumina. Now people would say, why don't you Foolish Burial a Wolf? The reason why I don't Foolish Burial a Wolf is because of the combo I'm going to show you with this test hand. So that's the graveyard. Far out. Sorry folks, the um, light is dimming because I'm just outside. So now we're going to... Normal summon the luminal. We're gonna discard a luminal. We're gonna special a luminal. We're gonna then discard a Raiden. Because we've got no light swarm once in the graveyard. We're gonna just special summon the Raiden. We could summon another luminal if we wanted to, but I think this would be it. Now you could either do this. This is if we're going into, like, for this format, you can leave it like this, or you can go into a Dante and Minerva, or a Dante and whatever extra deck card you need. Or if and we're in the link format, or even in this format, you can just leave it like this. If you leave it like this, you're going to be milling 3, 6, you're going to be milling 8, while if you go into Minerva and a Dante, you're going to be milling 6. But then, if you have a Minerva on the field, your opponent 
might destroy it which mill another free or you might they might not destroy it because they don't want you to mill it so it's depending where you want to go with this hand with this field sorry and then you've also got a twin twister in hand that's going second now I'm going to do one more test hand going first because that first hand was actually really terrible just because I draw the Seraphonite, or not the Seraphonite, friggin' Garnet, so. Thanks, sir. I've shuffled. So we're gonna go Twin Twister, Fairy Tail Snow, uh, Trick Clown. One, two, three, four, and my fifth and last is a cobra, predator plant cobra. Now with this, do, we can't do anything big. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to. Actually, you can't do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set and pass. That's it. But that's all you can do with this hand really. If we went sec if we went second and had another card, it actually would have been really good. So let's say they destroyed this card, they attacked you directly with like say a two thousand monster or whatever. So you're gonna draw another card? Okay. Now let's say they set back row up. So you're gonna go twin twister, discard the trick clan. You're gonna blow up that back row uh, back row. Trick clan's a Effect is going to proc, which is going to special summon by paying a thousand life points. You're going to then normal summon the fairy tale snow. You're going to flip down a monster they have. You're then going to go into a Minerva. You are then going to detach. You're going to have to detach the fairy tale snow. Then you're going to be milling three cards off Minerva. You're going to be milling one, two, three. Okay. We milled two light swan cards so we can draw two more. Now, Wolf is going to special himself. And the baby Minerva that we milled is going to mill one more card. You're then going to go activate that. You're going to discard the um, Eclipse Waven. You're just going to add the Baby Minerva because the reason why we did that is because Eclipse Waven is going to proc and we're going to banish a Judgment Dragon. But this could be, the reason why I'm getting bad hands is because of my, maybe it's because I'm not shuffling properly, like my shitty shuffling. But I don't know, what can you do? Now, that's really all you can do. Let's do one more hand this time, but this time we're going, we're going second again. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is an all right hand for going first, but we're going second, so we get another card. Four, five, six. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to special summon the Photon Fracture first. No matter what, you special summon first because we control no monsters. You're going to go solar recharge, you're going to discard the Baby Minerva, you're going to draw two, and you're going to mill two. 
Okay, then you're going to activate the reinforcement in the army. You're going to get a raiden. You're then going to go normal summon the luminal. You're going to discard luminal because you can have a large one in your graveyard. Special summon it. You're going to discard the raiden to normal summon the raiden. Like I said before, in this, you can go, you can either leave the field like this or you can um, XYZ. With this example, I'm just going to XYZ. So, Nerva. Dante, you're gonna. I, I'm gonna activate Minerva's effect first. So we're gonna mill three. One, two, three. We didn't mill any last one cards, so we didn't get the draw. But we milled a Metaphor's Fusion, so we get an extra one card right there. We're gonna mill off Dante. So another one. Two, three. Wolf is gonna proc, so he's gonna special summon himself. Oh, because we're going second. Dante has to be attack. Uh, Eclipse Wyvern's effect is gonna activate, which is gonna banish the Judgment Dragon. So Judgment Dragon's banished. And we got a full fill, we got a full grave basically graveyard. All we need is basically a um fairy tale snow and you're basically all set. You've got one, two, two, three. You got full names for Judgment Dragon. So if they destroy the wolf and the Minerva, you can special summon Judgment Dragon. But like I said, all you need is a fairy tale snow and grave. So they like say you attacked, Dante gets effect, switches, uh, switches him to defense mode because you've attacked with him. Let's say next turn they did destroy the wolf and the Minerva. Minerva's effect is going to proc, it's going to mill. Three. You're going to destroy a card because of baby and Minerva, you mill one more. Then you draw. Because this is your next turn, they say it's your next turn. So yeah, we, yeah, this is basically, for the next turn it's basically a dead hand really. You can set Electromagnet a turtle if you want, and then you can activate Dante to mill another three. But yeah, that's all you can do with that. Well, last hand for today. And we're going to go first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is actually a decent first hand, actually. So you're going to activate reinforcement of the armament first. Which is going to all, you all know what I'm going to grab out first. We're going to grab out the photon thrasher. Because we want that free special summon. So you're going to split and summon the Photon Thrasher. You're going to then going to go Solar Recharge, discard the Raiden. You're going to draw two, send two. See, we send a Gemmite Garnet. And we also draw a freaking all. 
Predator Planet Scorp Scorpio. So we could have made a brilliant fusion, but because I'm only having one gun in, in my deck and I don't have my second one at the moment, I can't do I can't do a gem that uh, a um brilliant fusion play. And this is why I run two garnets, two uh, cobras. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna normal summon the luminal. We're gonna discard the fairy tale snow, especially summon the Raiden. Raiden's effect is gonna oh yeah, Raiden's effect is gonna activate, you're gonna mill two. You're gonna go into a Minerva. You're just gonna activate Minerva's effect again. You're gonna mill three. You're gonna mill one, two, three. We milled two last one cards, so we can draw two more cards. We've got one, two, three. We've got three names in our graveyard. And we've got a Judgment Dragon in our hand. So next turn, if they destroy the Minerva or Lumina, or if they destroy the Minerva, you're definitely going to special summon Judgment Dragon. So you're going to end phase, Luminous Effect is going to activate, you're going to mill three. One, two, three. Wolf's Effect is going to activate, you're going to special summon him. So no matter what, if they um, destroy Wolf or Minerva, you're going to get a Judgment Dragon play. That's if they don't strike the Judgment Dragon or if they don't negate Judgment Dragon's effect. But other than that, if they don't have anything to answer Judgment Dragon next turn, you can just you can blow the field up and then you can continue your plays from there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the test hands and that combo I showed you at the start and see you guys next time